Hi everybody, it's Meat Skelton with another vlog chat for you. Um, I'm back here in my bedroom with Donald behind me. Um, so um, I just want to let everybody know I'm doing okay and I'm working on my Christmas live stream, which should be a lot of fun. Um, I'm really excited because I got um, some Christmas parties booked, some Christmas gigs booked this um, Christmas, December, so um, I'm working on my set list for these Christmas parties. I kind of want like a piano player, um, lounge singer for that, so that should be exciting. One is like a tacky Christmas party, and I'm also going to the GOP Christmas party downtown in downtown Richmond. Uh, I got tickets for that, so that'll be exciting. And I'll tell you, um, I have several encounters that I get with fans and the public. Sometimes I forget that I'm a public public figure. Ooh. <laughs> oh no. So I'm a public figure and I was at the Kroger's the other day and the guy in line next to me was singing Sweet Tea. Yeah, he was singing the chorus to Sweet Tea. I think he was a little bit drunk, you know. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> he was singing the chorus to Sweet Tea and that really that really uh, touched my heart. And I think they were trying to say, well, we know who you are, but we don't want you to know who we are. So that's what they were saying, because they wouldn't go up to me and approach me and say, Hey, aren't you so-and-so? Uh, Although that has happened, like when I was at the YMCA. Um, the guy said, Hey, you're the... Some guy came up to me and said, You're the YouTube guy. And then the girl at the um, front desk said, You're a famous singer on YouTube. And then I get that, like at other grocery stores, you know, people have people address me by name and said, Aren't you Mead Skelton? Um, you're the guy that wrote the hipster song, or you're the guy that wrote the sweet tea song. So when these things happen, it makes me realize, uh-oh, people know who I am. I better be careful. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's just, it's really exciting to have encounters with, um, with my fans because, um, they're the people that, um, sort of, you know, help me thrive, and I really appreciate their support. They don't understand how much I appreciate it when they're singing Sweet Tea or whatever, but anyway, that was something that happened to me the other day at Kroger's. He was just singing along Sweet Tea. Then he broke into a song by the Georgia Satellites. I forgot the name of it. As you can see, I got my hair cut. I go to the, um... I go to the Bird Hotel here in Richmond. It's a great place, hipster free, you know, very nice people, no hipsters, no tattoos or anything. <laughs> Real people, normal people who cut my hair. This time my hair, um, I've got a haircut called the High and Tight. As you can see though, I have some, I don't know, I have some hair issues. See, a lot of people say, well I went to my dermatologist, so I don't have male pattern baldness. Most of my hair, as you can see, is thinning a little bit. Uh, it's from Lyme disease, and it's like, oh no! But it, it comes and goes, it gets thinner, and then it gets back, and it comes thinner, and it comes back. So my hair is also very fine, so it's hard to get my hair to look the right way. And I'm not ashamed to say that I do use hair products, you know, I use hair coloring even. Because a few years ago, I started to notice that I was getting some grays <laughs> in my hair. <laughs> I'm too young for that. I have to look young for my public. But, good news is, I am losing weight. Yay! I put on a pair of trousers the other day. They were they were 36 expandable waist. And I could button them. <laughs> and I, even my 34s I could button. Oh, they're a little tight. But um, I am losing weight. But anyway, um, I just want to say, it, it's really exciting when I meet fans in public. Or people that have heard of me. I do get a little nervous. I don't like when people gush over me and say, Oh, you're so talented. Oh, why aren't you more famous? You know, people say that. Why aren't you more famous? Why, why, you should be on stage somewhere. One time I was working in retail over Christmas, and um, it was at Barnes & Noble, and this older guy, and he was said, Oh, meet Skelton. You should be in front of a microphone, not in front of a register. <laughs> so it does, it does warm my heart to know that people... Uh, really do appreciate me and then I'm appreciated. Uh, also, when I do the cow mascot at the Chick-fil-A, uh, a lot of children get very excited for the cow. And yesterday, this little boy came up to me and he's saying, um, I love Jesus just like you. <laughs> yeah, so um, the little children get excited over the cow and adults get excited over Meat Skelton. <laughs> So next time, I know some people are very shy and they don't want to uh, acknowledge that they know me or maybe they want anonymity or whatever that word is called. 
But uh, hey, I appreciate it. So whoever it was singing Sweet Tea in the Grocery Store, I'll be at Kroger's again soon by my Christmas dinner, and you can sing it again. <laughs> so yes, I do shop at Kroger's. Actually, we have a Publix now. Richmond has a Publix grocery store which is really just like Kroger's 2.0. I mean, there's nothing special about Publix. Everyone's so excited. Oh, Publix, oh, Publix. We have a Wegamans, too, and that's a Yankee grocery store. I don't go there. I think they're run by the, you know, uh, <laughs> I don't know if they're Jews or not. Oh, it doesn't matter to me, but uh, we don't need any more New York grocery stores coming to Richmond. We need um, good old Piggly Wiggly, Kroger's, I go to Kroger's. Um, I'm so excited because Publix is going to open up a new location that's closer to me. Anyway, these are my um, strange encounters with my fans. And Oh, by the way, I'm writing in my music blog. I keep track of everything, too. So you visit my music blog. Um, that would be exciting. This is my haircut. It kind of reminds me of a Negro haircut. You know those basketball players? And they have their froze up like that. Kind of like a Negro. Hey, my name's Jamal. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway... Uh, so thank you all for watching, and uh, I'm doing more Ancestry. I took a break from Ancestry because, first of all, the Bible says don't get too caught up in Ancestry, but it's also, Ancestry is endless Ancestry. Because I was going back to my ancestors, all the way back to King Edward III, and I just don't have time, you know, all these family names, but it's really exciting. Um, I am descending to King Edward III, but that's not, I mean, a lot of people are descended from royalty. It's not special. When I first found out, I was like, oh, well... But, you know, a lot of people are descended from royalty, and I, I do not live off my ancestors. This is just a hobby. I love ancestry and lineage and stuff. So when I did my Pocahontas family tree, I was just saying, wow, this is neat, you know. But I'm not saying that makes me a special person. Uh, Pocahontas probably has at least 1,200 or more descendants, you know. So, anyway, thank you all for watching, and um, if you see me in public, don't be shy. I won't buy it, <laughs> unless you have a uh, donut or something, then you give me one of donuts, <laughs> give me some food. Um, so I'll see y'all soon. Bye.